let us continue our discussion of uh, Arduino board interface. So this is uh, just the continuation of the previous uh, video. Uh, this is push button to control uh, the LED. So we saw that uh, the LED is connected uh, between uh, 13 and ground. So this is uh, 13 is connected to anode and uh, ground is cathode. And uh, pin number 13 is the output pin. You can see now uh, pin number 7 is connected to this junction of uh, resistor and the push button. So if you press the push button, you will get uh, uh, 5 volts. So if you release the push button, it will be 0 volt here. So now let us have a look at the programming. So we have assigned that uh, pin number 7, 13 to LED and pin number 7 to button and initial value is put as 0 so this is integer value is 0 to store the initial value of the input pin which is 0 volt so this is a pin mode assignment so LED is put as a in this wired setup uh, we actually define the digital IO pins so LED is defined as output and uh, using pin mode so button is being defined as input now this uh, pin mode is used to tell the Arduino which pin is used as what condition and we are going to an infinite loop so this is a wide loop uh, we are supposed to read the value of uh, button here so this val will be assigned the digital read of button so if button is pressed we will get uh, 0 if button is uh, uh, sorry if you press the button it will be high if you release the button it is low now uh, read the input value and store it in val so check whether the input is high or not so if button is pressed it will be high if val is uh, this is double equals high so if val is double equal to high suppose if the value of uh, uh, the content of the val is high then digital write LED high so if the value of the if the value is high if the val is high so we'll be writing uh, a high onto the LED so here we are making the digital write and the val will get the value of digital digital read from button value here now if you write digital write LED comma high so this will actually turn on the LED else so this else is actually for if this condition is false so then it is else statement will be get executed so digital write led comma low so this will actually write low to the led pin so your led will be off now in order to write any program using uh, arduino so if we are uh, good in uh, c programming it is on, based on the same uh, syntax so we will be writing the if statement over here if this is high then you are writing uh, high onto digital oh, sorry high onto the LED if it is else it will be uh, this way we can actually uh, make the LED switch on or switch off depending on the switch condition the button condition now, this is what is a PWM output so we are talking about analog output because this uh, is a digital uh, circuit so it cannot give a uh, analog output in the form of uh, uh, 1 volt, uh, 2 volt, 3 volt, 4 volt or uh, VDD so it will actually give a uh, analog output so in, in the form of assume that you want to have 50% uh, uh, of the uh, digital output so that is uh, you want to have assume that if, if VDD is 5 volt if you want to get 2.5 will not get 2.5 volt like uh, a single uh, DC line of 2.5 instead of that we will get a square wave at a uh, duty cycle of 50% if you want to have 25% of the uh, digital output so 25% of the uh, logic uh, 1 value 25% of 5 volt that is 1.25 volts so the PWM output will be of 25% duty cycle if you want to have 75% of the uh, logic high that is uh, uh, 0.75 into VDD so we will going to get an actual PWM output of 75% so actually the analog output will be a PWM waveform having a different duty cycle 
a smallest analog output voltage will going to have the smallest duty cycle the largest uh, uh, analog output will have uh, the largest duty cycle now you can say duty cycle 75% on time is more off time is less so this is a duty cycle of 25% on time is less and off time is more and this is like uh, uh, in, in the previous example we saw uh, the LED was switching on and switching off for a certain duration now you can see this is fade in and out of an LED so for this so now we are again using uh, the LED so now it is connected to pin number 9 here now you can see the, uh, the constant INT is LED is uh, the pin number 9 is assigned uh, with the name LED so there is a uh, in INT value I, I is equal to 0 so we will use this uh, to count up and count down and uh, since we are using only the LED now this uh, we are supposed to make this pin mode LED comma out to say that uh, Arduino so LED is an output pin now you can see we are writing uh, because this is a fade in fade out of the LED so LED has to gradually increase its intensity and it should go to maximum and it has to come down gradually down to uh, zero condition that is off so it is not on off it is uh, the intensity of the LED is keep increasing goes to maximum and it is keep on reducing now for which uh, we have an infinite loop so you can see there is a for loop so with initial value of i is equal to 0 uh, i less than uh, 255 so and i plus plus so this is going to increment the value of i by 1 starting from 0 uh, as long as i is less than 255 so if it is greater than 255 then uh, this will be i minus minus it will keep on reducing so this way as you can see here so as a value of uh, i is uh, 0 and less than 255 i will be incremented by 1 so we are actually writing analog right led i so you can see now why it is uh, why this pin number 9 is selected as an output means because uh, in pin number 9 we are actually uh, giving an analog output to the led so because the uh, output to the led if it is high or low it will to simply turn on and turn off if you want to gradually vary the amplitude uh, the intensity of the LED we are supposed to actually change the amplitude so actually this is an output pin which is uh, an analog output pin so as you uh, noticed in the previous uh, slides so out of 14 digital IO pins so pin number uh, 9 is one of the analog output so that's why this LED is connected to 9 so now we are actually writing analog write it's not a digital write because uh, this will be actually giving a PWM, uh, PWM signal to LED now this is analog write LED comma I so whatever the value of I is there will be uh, transferred to pin number 9 over here so this I value as you can see here so I value will be 0 initially if it is 0 you are going to get a PWM output of 0% duty cycle if it is uh, 1 correspondingly we are going to get a slightly larger DC voltage as the value of I is keep on increasing so the intensity of the LED is keep on increasing and uh, for every uh, written value of I onto the LED so we are calling a delay of 10 so this 10 is actually 10 millisecond wait for 10 millisecond because uh, analog write will not change instantaneously we have to wait for around 10 millisecond so this is keep on happening so as long as the i value becomes equal to uh, less than 255 so once it is equal to 255 uh, till i is i is greater than 0 so you are keep on decrementing the value now you are writing i uh, to the led so what actually happens is that till i is less than 255 this i is keep on being uh, transferred onto led so meaning that the LED will be getting a voltage starting from 0 to 255 so 254 which is actually 5 volt so 0 is 0 volt and 254 is actually 5 volts so this way we can able to get a different intensity uh, varying intensity of the LED by doing this programming since it's an infinite loop 
initially it increases goes up to 255 and it is keep on reducing using this loop so let us see what happens in the next program so this is a light sensor instead of a push button so we are using a LDR uh, now the LED intensity purely depends on the uh, LDR output so you can see now so pin number uh, 13 is used for the LED and uh, see now we have uh, uh, this LED will be turned on or turned off depending on uh, the intensity of uh, uh, the output from this LDR so as we can see here and uh, this is LED output and uh, we are supposed to uh, read the value from this here so you can see now this is connected to ground and uh, you can see uh, this uh, now you can see uh, one, one uh, peculiar thing this uh, light sensor which is an LDR it, it's connected from uh, it is connected to the VCC through a resistor and the other end is grounded here you can see now uh, this is uh, grounded 5 volt is going to this LDR the junction between this LDR and this is connected to A0 so but uh, you can see here so pin mode there is no uh, definition about this analog input so usually this pin mode is used for assigning only the digital IOs always uh, the analog signals are always by default uh, taken as input so there is no analog output over here so it's only analog input so that needs no uh, declaration here so you are actually giving the input to A0 so now you are actually reading the value of analog read 0 so this is uh, you are actually reading the value of uh, uh, this 0th input onto the file and now you are actually writing uh, the digital write you are actually writing high onto the LED and the delay is actually well so now you are not specifying the delay like 1000 or 10 the delay value is actually the value that is being written using this LED uh, sorry uh, analog read so what does this analog read 0 will do is whatever the value of uh, this LDR that is being read over here so that value will be transferred onto this valve. This analog read of 0 can vary from 0 to 1023. As we saw in the initial slides, the analog read value varies from 0 to 1023. Suppose if this voltage is uh, VCC, it will give 1023. If this value is half of VCC, it's almost give 512. If this value is almost 0 volt, it will give 0. So, depending on the darkness uh, of this uh, environment, the LDR gives different resistance which will convert into a particular voltage. Now, depending on this voltage, we will get a certain value onto this van. So, analog read will actually get a value from 0 to 1023. So, that is used as a delay here. So, assume that this voltage is 4 volt then the value that is written here is almost uh, 600 or uh, sorry uh, maybe around uh, 900 so this delay will be for that much duration and it will be on for a longer time and this will be off for a very small duration now you can see uh, this is LED of course now this is uh, both on and off are the same val values so you can see delay uh, val and delay val for both read and write so once it is off for the delay value it will go off so once it is off so it will be there again as off for uh, the delay that is specified in the val value so suppose if it is dark so if the voltage here is more we are going to have this LED turned on for longer time and off also for longer time if the voltage is uh, less here it will blink uh, faster now the blinking is now depending on the value of uh, this it's not uh, just thousand and thousand over here as it was in the previous case now this is how we can actually read the value uh, of this analog value using this analog read so we have learned digital write 
we have learned what is analog read so you are actually reading the analog value from 0th pin if you are using 2 you have to write it as this is 2 here 